Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be letting you guys know about some of the features that we can expect to see with the Casino DLC being released into GTA 5 Online. Now of course, some of these features have been confirmed by Rockstar Games themselves, but not only that, I think we can also see a lot of these features in previous GTA 5 games, as well as a bunch of the new features being very similar to what we've already got in the game. So kicking things off straight away, the very first thing Rockstar games let us know about is that we are going to be receiving lavish amenities now of course this could mean a wide variation of things that they could be offering us with lavish amenities however because the casino is also a resort it's more than likely going to be amenities that you would see similar to a five-star hotel or a luxury resort that you'd go and stay in but of course being added into the game by rockstar games they are going to be putting their own little spin on things and maybe taking things a bit over the top However, some of the luxury amenities you usually will typically see are stuff like a luxury mini bar. So similar to the bottles of champagne that we can get in our nightclub, it would make sense for them to include a luxury mini bar where you can go ahead and drink some whiskey or champagne. Another luxury amenity they could add is a private pianist. Of course, like I said, being Rockstar Games, it would really be over the top if they were to add that. However, another amenity that would make sense to come with the resort would be complimentary vehicles. So you might see like a Rolls Royce or a Bentley style vehicle in the game just being offered to you guys to use for free. Without a doubt, it would make sense of course to add like a hot tub or a jacuzzi somewhere in the resort, which of course would be a lavish amenity and it's something that we've already got in the game, which can be found on all of the yachts. So it would make sense for Rockstar Games to just copy and paste that script into the casino. Of course, another amenity could be a private butler. So someone that follows you around goes ahead and does what you ask of them very similar to how we've got an assistant in our office but more based around taking care of all of the stuff in the casino as rockstar games have said this is going to be the biggest building in the game so you've got to think there is probably going to be tons of space and things to do that will take up a lot of your time running around little errands and chores so having a private butler there that you can go ahead and dedicate certain errands to would make perfect sense so i think it's very obvious that the lavish amenities rockstar games are referring to will be like our personal area where we can go ahead and stay save the game sleep change our clothes and do the usual typical stuff that we can do in our personal quarters most likely very similar to our office in the nightclub where we can probably open up an option menu to decide if we want to let friends crew members or organizations into our office and of course with rockstar games saying that this will be the biggest building that they have added into the game they probably will just add a bunch of extra amenities that don't really change your game but are just there for aesthetics like maybe like a massage table where you can get your character a massage maybe a personal barber or makeup artist there really is no limits to what rockstar games can add to this dlc if you guys have any ideas of what amenities you could see rockstar games adding to our personal quarters do be sure to leave a comment down below now the next thing that rockstar games mention is exclusive shopping which does sound very interesting especially for you guys like myself that do like to put together new character outfits we will be receiving some exclusive clothing with the resort of course with rockstar games saying that it's going to be exclusive means that you guys won't be able to buy this anywhere else in the game so i do think we're going to see stuff like new jewelry added into the game that will tie in with the whole casino theme of course we do have a fake rolex company in gta 5 known as Rolex so it would be good to see some maybe new watches add into the game that do stand out on our character similar to the light and shoes maybe some exclusive brand new suits I could definitely see Rockstar Games adding some sort of really bright and lavish stand out the crowd diamante suits of course diamonds are a really big theme of this whole new casino it is called the diamond resort after all but at the same time let's not forget that shopping doesn't really limit us to clothing or accessories this could easily mean vehicles also very similar to the arena war dlc which previously got released there are certain variants of vehicles that you could only unlock 
by completing certain tasks in the arena or stadium so it could be a very similar situation with the casino resort where we have a brand new currency that we can use maybe in a new shop located within the resort that all users can go to to buy exclusive clothing or even shop for exclusive vehicles not only do i think this would be a great idea by rockstar games but it would also allow them to have like a place where they could drip feed specific content based around the casino for the coming months if you guys aren't aware with every massive dlc rockstar games do release they also have a ton of unreleased content that they will end up drip feeding throughout the coming months so it would make sense like i said for them to have a very unique location or a shop where you guys can shop for exclusive stuff at the casino whether you guys will have to own a part of the casino to shop there we will have to wait and see but if you guys can think of any other items that you would like to see rockstar games add with the exclusive shopping in the casino dlc do be sure to leave a comment down below now the next thing that rockstar games mentions is first class entertainment now of course this could mean a wide variation of things it could be something as simple as dancers similar to how we have them in our nightclub that dance in light up suits they could be strippers or it could even be like a magician sitting there performing tricks of course in gta 4 we did have the comedy club where we had comedians perform a short set i think you had ricky gervais cat williams which were extremely funny to go and watch so it would be great to see something like that added into the game maybe like a live performance by a real life singer rapper or even a comedian of course we did have four real life djs perform in the nightclub with the after hours dlc and all of those artists went ahead and promoted the actual dlc on their social media pages which ended up creating a massive buzz around the nightclub dlc to this day i believe it is still the most viewed trailer i might be wrong it might be the doomsday heist but it's definitely up there with views as far as trailers for dlcs so maybe rockstar games have seen the success of the marketing campaign behind the after hours dlc and they're going to try and push a similar thing with the casino dlc now the next thing that rockstar games mentions which is very very exciting that i'm looking forward to the most is state-of-the-art gaming facilities now for me personally this could mean a massive thing all of those arcade machines that we see plotted all around gta online that we can actually play in san andreas but we can't yet play in gta online could be getting released with the casino dlc when you think about it arcade games very very basic to make but at the same time it would be very very fun to play in your casino against friends to get away from the gambling and just like i said switch things up now and again of course rockstar have already made an arcade type game in the office that we can play against with friends it's like a version of snakes if you guys have ever played that and so it just would make perfect sense for them to do a similar thing with all of these little arcade machines that we can already see in the game now another thing this could mean is real life games like we have seen in previous gta 5 games as i'm sure all of you guys remember that have played gta 4 one of the most famous activities in that game was going bowling with your good old cousin roman bellick <laughs> every bloody day you'd get about 50 phone calls hey cousin let's go bowling that was a really bad impression but you get my point it was an extremely famous meme for years on end probably one of the most famous gaming memes out there so it would make sense for rockstar games to pay homage and re-release bowling into gta 5 online of course they could also add snooker or pool we can already see pool tables and snooker tables all around the map in gta online so once again it would make perfect sense for them to make those interactable and let players actually play pool in the game similar to how we could in gta san andreas and if you guys could see rockstar games add any type of game with the casino what type of games would you guys like to see do be sure to leave a comment down below now the next thing that rockstar games mentions is the best in class concierge which doesn't take the sharpest tool in the drawer to work out this is just basically going to be our new assistant for the casino someone that we're going to go to if we want to get a car if we want to reload on snacks that's basically going to be our concierge hopefully there will come with some new 
new options and hopefully there will be like a helipad on the casino that is one feature that i love in the office that you just don't get in any other building like your nightclub or your bunker so it will be great to see what features our new concierge will come with the next thing rockstar games mentions is valet parking of course this is just a standard normal thing for most five star hotels or resorts and casinos but how rockstar games are going to execute this in free roam is going to be a bit of a madness they are going to have to make it so it's a cutscene similar to how when we finish our import export missions we hand the keys over because if you physically have to go over to a valet in free roam at the casino especially as soon as the dlc comes out you are just going to get a ton of players spraying down your car leaving sticky bombs proximity mines all over that area just trolling the hell out of you and i'm pretty sure rockstar games know this is going to happen so i don't expect to see actual physical valet parking taking place in front of you in free roam because just like our mechanic from back in the day who used to physically deliver our car the body count of these valets is going to rack up extremely high they're just going to be getting killed off every second and i think you guys know this as well so the valet parking is more than likely going to be you guys guys driving into the garage and then just deciding where you want the valet to park your car without you guys having to enter into your garage so basically you guys can go directly into the casino whilst using your car whereas you cannot do that in any other building as of right now for example if you guys drive to your office you're gonna have to drive in through your garage whereas if you guys had a valet he could take the car off you drive it into your garage and then you go ahead and crack on with your gambling so that for me is exactly what's going to take place with the valet parking now the next thing rockstar games mentions is spinning the lucky wheel which sounds very exciting indeed of course we do have something very similar in the stadium in the arena wars where you guys can go ahead and spin the wheel and you can receive stuff like rp or ap points for your arena war points however i think this wheel will have much more to offer than that wheel as rockstar games does mention it will offer life-changing prizes so whether that is massive amounts of money maybe a weekly cash gift or it even could be some exclusive vehicles that no one else can purchase that maybe rockstar games will plan on drip feeding in the coming months it will be very very interesting to see but i am definitely going to be jumping on that lucky wheel and giving it a spin trying to grab myself some free prizes now the next thing rockstar games mentioned is the fine selection of created spirits at the bars and lounges of course this is probably very similar to the nightclub once again where we might be able to get special types of drinks like a shot that can make you pass out or an exclusive bottle of champagne which you can spray that probably adds a new theme of drink maybe like a fire shot or even if you guys order like multiple drinks at once for all of your friends it might trigger off a little animation where a bunch of people bring out the drinks on fireworks this is a known thing that happens in a lot of nightclubs and in some cases the dj will just cut the music that's playing in the background and they'll start playing like a very famous theme tune typically like a superman theme tune and then they'll bring out your champagne so rockstar games could easily do something like that in the casino especially seen as it is a public building it would make sense for players if they've got a bit of money to be able to show off and glow in front of players by spending a ton of money at the bar whereas at the nightclub you spend like 50k on a bottle of champagne and it's over in about 30 seconds so a lot of people did complain about that rockstar games could write that wrong by just making it a bit more special when you drop big bucks at the bar and finally as i did previously mention at the start of the video rockstar games have officially said that the diamond resort casino will be the biggest and most extravagant building in the game so take that as you wish but just taking a look at the building right now of course it doesn't look humongous but you do have the racehorse track right next door which has led a lot of people on to think that this entire building right here could get revamped and remodeled hence the reason you can see all of this building equipment at the entrance what do you guys think do you think we're going to get the same type of building but it will just look much bigger on the inside or do you think rockstar games are going to go ahead and completely revamp that casino do be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts and nonetheless that's going to do it for me guys just a look at all of the features that we could see coming with the casino dlc in the near future if you guys do support the channel all i ask is you guys do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here feel free to subscribe as i do post 
post daily GTA 5 videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace!